guys, welcome to your 30 minute total body dumbbell workout today. We're super excited, I've got Lucas here with me, yeah. joining me today. I'm gonna be using 10 pounds. I'll probably go between 15 and 20, so we'll okay. see. So whatever weight works best for you, you can get that weight ready, and we're gonna start soon. Lucas is gonna lead us through the warm up, and then we're gonna get into the actual exercises. We're gonna be going for 60 seconds of work, followed by a 30 second rest. In that rest period, we're gonna explain to you what's coming next, so just make sure you look up to the screen for the next exercise. We got three exercises going through 30 seconds of each, nice and easy, getting the body moving, getting that blood flow going before we jump in to using weights and get a little more intense. First one, arm circles. We got forward for 30 seconds and backwards for 30 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one. Just nice and easy little circles. One more squats done. We got jumping jacks to get that blood flow going. Three, two, one, let's go. first exercise we've got reverse lunges with a hammer curl you can see we're stepping back alternating which foot you step back each time while at the same time hammer curling those dumbbells up to your shoulders we're starting in about 20 seconds Exercise, we have bicep half to full. So we stay in a nice neutral position. We'll go halfway up, down, all the way to the top.
you're going to hold those dumbbells right here. My arms are so sore already. We're going to hold them in front. You're going to squat down, push those weights up to the top. Squat down, push those weights up to the top. All right, we're starting out in 15 seconds. Shake those arms out, guys. You got this. Starting in 10. If you need to take a break in between, set those weights down, and then pick it right back up. Let's go. single arm front raises, keeping those hands in a horizontal position. We're gonna go down to RDL, come up, front raise, front raise, right back down to RDL. Keeping that core tight, nice flat back, we're just gonna go straight down, come up, front raise, front raise. You wanna let those weights slide down to your shins here as you hinge your hips back, and squeeze your glutes all the way up, front raise, front raise. Make sure you're not swinging that way, but you're keeping that core tight and lift. RDL. Front raise, front raise, keep that going. Get that weight off. Step forward, and we're coming right back up. Alternate, right back up. Yep.
All right, for this next one, we've got bent over row to bicep curl, but we've got three motions of each. So you're gonna start with the bent over row. Notice how my back is flat and not arched or hunched. Then you have three bent over rows, and then you come back up, squeeze at the top, and three bicep curls. Then you'll hinge back down for the bent over rows. Five seconds, go ahead and grab those weights. We've been bringing it straight up. Using that core to drive yourself to the ceiling. Yep.
then we're gonna get into round number two. Exercise of that reverse lunge to hammer curl, starting in five. Bicep curl half to full motion. and then we're back to thrusters. Remember to sit back into your glutes and then push those weights up to the top.
Coming up next, we've got RDL to front raise, alternating arms for that front raise. Remember to hinge your hips back and then squeeze your core as you lift those arms without swinging, starting in 20 seconds. Up next, we've got curtsy lunges. You're gonna take that weight back behind your shoulders again. Just let it rest in your shoulders. Step back diagonally, putting the weight in your glutes and alternate your leg each time you step back. Next exercise, you're gonna have both dumbbells in your hands and you've got those forward lunges, alternating legs each time. Up next, we've got that bent over row three times to bicep curl three times. Take it slow and really think about that form.
back on the floor for overhead sit-ups. Remember to really push that weight up and drive it as you sit up. To the knees you're going to slightly lean back a little bit and twist using those obliques to control that movement. Last exercise of this round, we've got those three-point jumping jacks. and joining us and sweating with us. It is such a pleasure. So happy to have you. If you did this workout and you like it, make sure you take that post sweaty workout selfie. Tag us on the Instagram. We'll repost you. We want to stay connected with you guys. So thank you and we love you so much. much See you love. on the next one. Much love.